I think we were pleasantly surprised at how relatable people found the first movie, that they really saw themselves in one or all of the characters. Many, many people reached out to us on social media to say they thought it was their lives. They said, how did you break into my diary and know all my stories? People really felt this movie was about them. And the truth is we did break into their diaries and steal all their stories, <laughs> and that's why it did so well. Uh, no, to be honest, we're always surprised when people see our movies. We're always pleasantly surprised that anyone shows up other than our direct family. So it was, it was a very pleasant surprise. Well, Christmas I, is hell, right, <laughs> for all of us, right. moms especially. Well, mostly right, moms. Yeah, we started, we started trying to, you know, figure out what the next movie would be about, and as we were, like, looking around, it was sort of getting close to Christmas time, and our wives were sort of going crazy with everything that they were sort of getting ready for, and we kind of realized that, in a way, Christmas is sort of the Super Bowl for moms. It's like, it's, it's the big show. It's, it's, um, it's that time of year where it's like, you have to really put on a great performance and make sure that it's it's beautiful and fun and magical for your family. And then there's family coming to town. It really is sort of uh, uh, one of the biggest times for moms in, over the course of the year. Yeah, it was right, and that to us means it's ripe for comedy when there's that much pressure in a situation. That's the the jokes are a lot easier. They sort of they're born from that pressure. So I think uh, to us it was it felt like a big a big like a, a big delicious meal to have. Um, and also we had some stuff to say thematically, like the first movie, women are put in this position to take care of all this stuff that's impossible to do. And that felt sort of familiar to the first movie, but also a whole different playground. That we, we weren't going, we didn't want to go back to school and do that thing where sequels sometimes do, where you're just chasing your tail and really trying to do the first movie all over again. So we were excited to have a new arena. One of the best things about making a sequel is you've made one already and you kind of have learned things that worked, maybe things that didn't work so well. So to us, I think what we learned is our audience actually really wanted an emotional movie. Uh, they still wanted to be raunchy and funny, but they were, our audience on the first movie was very into the emotional component of the movie in a way that we weren't, that surprised me. So we wanted in this movie to not, to run, to sort of head into that as opposed to get away from the emotionality of it. So I think, I would argue this movie is uh, substantially it's definitely bawdier, raunchier, funnier, and also it, it, I think we go more for a, a little more hard at the end, partly because we, that's what we made, uh, a choice we made creatively, but also because I think Christmas just brings out this thing that's like, you gotta, it's Christmas, you have to have a big, emo you can't have a sort of like dry Christmas movie, you have to have a big emotional movie, that time of year just feels like it calls for it. Well, and also the first movie was about the three girls, the three friends finding them, finding each other and coming together. And this is really about their relationship with their mom and that core relationship with your mom, whether it's Mila and your mom pushes you too hard or it's Kiki and she loves you too voraciously or it's Carla and you're distant from your mom. You know, those relationships all at their core have some very, very deep emotions. And I think the movie really does satisfy because we get to see that in those three ways, which I think everybody can relate to some version of their own mom in those. Yeah, you, can't, you can't do those stories in like a glib way. Yeah, because yeah, like yeah. your relationship with your mom is significant. I mean, frankly, if we look back to the first movie, one of the things that people loved the best was the end credits and this conversation about moms and daughters. And one of the nicest things that happened for us when we were shooting the end credits for the first movie is all of those actresses came out of those interviews and said, I'd never had that conversation with my mom. Like My mom had never told me she thought I was a great mom. My mom had never said she loved me in those words out loud in front of other people. And it was so meaningful for the girls even just having the experience. And yeah. then audiences obviously loved that. Yeah. And, and this movie was largely uh, putting that emotion and those relationships into the movie instead of in the end credits.